Introducing Formula Field. This is a programmable column that uses data from other rows in your table. So for example, if I enter a first name and a last name, this formula field automatically calculates the full name. You can code here in JavaScript. You can access other fields in the database using row.fieldName, and then you can apply any logic you would using a JavaScript code. To use the formula field, add a column. So in this example, let's say full name, and then pick the column type to be formula. Next, you can say which fields you want this formula field to listen to. So in this case, every time first name or the last name changes, you want the full name to be updated, which is of the return type short text. Here, we can write simple JavaScript code. First, we can use row dot get the fields in your table. So here we have first name and last name, and we can check if it's defined or not. If it's underdefined, then we return an empty string. Otherwise, we combine the two fields together using the plus operator on the string. That's it. Click update to save the changes. You can now add a first name and a last name that immediately see the full name automatically populated. Now, this field is not stored in the database. This is a UI only field. That means you can view this data only on the table interface on Rowing. So, if you go to the Firestore database, you'll see that only the first name and last name is stored and the full name, which is a calculated formula field, is not stored in your database. This is useful in scenarios where you only want this data to be displayed on the table UI for the purpose of managing your data better. For example, if you have to generate a couple of calculated URL fields that you really don't want to save in the database, but you want it to be only shown on the table UI for the purpose of easy processing of data by, say, some operational team member. So, on the table, we have two formula fields, one for thumbs up URL and one for thumbs down. It basically takes a string of URL, appends a few parameters based on the row of data, and returns that as a URL. Similarly, this other column field uses the same set of fields, but instead of thumbs up, marks the vote as thumbs down. This makes the links very easy to access. If you like this data value to be stored to the database and not just a UI level field, then we do have another column called derivative that does the job. Create a derivative column and use the same code. On derivative column, you can do much more than simple JavaScript. You can use any NPM packages, any API, and write a complete JavaScript TypeScript cloud function. However, for the purpose of this demo, we'll show that you can store this data to the database if you like, and not just use a UI field like formula field by creating a derivative function. Derivative fields take a few seconds to get deployed. You can, in the meantime, test this out by clicking evaluate on existing data rows. You can see this data gets calculated similar to formula field, but go to Firestore, you'll be able to see that this data point is also stored in the database. All right, we hope that you'll find formula field useful in your projects. Give it a try and let us know what you would like to see next.